Hello, awesome students. I want you to grab your SAT book and open to page 98 to start a new lesson. Return of the Wolves, magazine article. To young children reading fairy tales, wolves are villains. These animals cause terrible distress for Little Red Riding Hood and other children who take shortcuts through the woods to avoid being tardy. They also eat up grandmothers and frighten little pigs. Many adults fear wolves too. For years, the animals have been hunted and killed for a variety of reasons. Ranchers killed wolves to protect their cattle. Other people shot wolves because they thought wolves were evil and unfit for life on earth. Still others hunted them for fun and would often go on hunting sprees. By the early 1900s, there were few wolves left in America. By 1930, there was not a wolf left in Yellowstone National Park. Very few survived in other parts of the United States. When all the wolves disappeared from Yellowstone National Park, large herds of elk lost their only enemy. The big moose-like creatures could sift through shrubs with berries, and also through willow and aspen trees, and eat without fear. As a result, many plants and trees vanished from the park. Many birds and insects vanished too, because they depended on the plants and trees for their homes and for food. In the late 1900s, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service decided to bring back the wolf. In 1995, wildlife biologists traveled to Canada to track wolves. Then they proceeded to bring the wolves back to Yellowstone National Park. The animals would be protected there. They could dwell safely in the park. 31 wolves were registered and fitted with radio collars that kept track of their movements. As each year went by, there were more and more wolves. What happened after the wolves returned to the park? The results were outstanding. The wolves hunted elk and this meant that there were now fewer of the big huffed animals to eat plants within the park. As a result, trees and shrubs grew back. Birds and insects returned. Today, wolves are considered threatened. This means they could disappear unless humans continue to protect them. One of the biggest steps we can take toward that goal is to understand wolves rather than fear them. What I want you to do now is read Return of the Wolves and continue Wolf Families on page 99 before I start explaining the SAT words.